project lovers and jigsaw puzzle fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and this is Curves on the Road. Today I have a special project for you. We will be doing very difficult jigsaw puzzle. Let's go. I got this fabulous jigsaw puzzle from Hanka for Christmas. If you want to watch the video how we handed over the presents and played some funny games, you can click on the link somewhere around here. Uh, this is a different level of a puzzle. You can't do it without using 3D glasses. I haven't opened it yet, so let's see what's in the box. Oh, I almost forgot. I got a nice note from Hanka. It says, hello Christmas lover and tree fan. I hope this gets featured on your channel. Bye, your biggest fan. So, honey, thanks a lot again. And here we are. Ah, there they are! Woof! That would be tough! So, this art therapy piece is supposed to be relaxing and stress relieving. And the colors are supposed to be therapeutic. You can color the jigsaw with anything you want. Crayons, pencils, and I'll probably use the acrylic paints I have for my Painting by Numbers project, the leftovers from the already finished projects. And now I'll read you about the function of the glasses. The glasses you are using make use of chroma depth. 3D technology is a patented system that produces a stereoscopic effect based on difference in the diffraction of color through special lens. I think we found one. First two. Yeah! Now only 498 to go. So we're closer to finish. There are just a few more touches to be done.
final missing piece. We've done it. It took about six hours all together and this is the last piece. This is the black and white part done. I'm so happy I didn't have to use the 3D glasses to assemble it. The 3D glasses only serve for you to see the colors in 3D once it's painted. Speaking of the paint, now is the fun, colorful, artsy part of it. I'll take the painting by numbers paints and color it however I see fit. I have lots of paints from the old projects of painting by numbers. Most of the pictures are already framed, so I will never need these colors for anything else. So they'll be perfect for this project. It's really easy to paint on it. I was worried it's gonna be too slippery, but the wax on top of the puzzles doesn't seem to prevent the painting at all. I'm not sure if you're intended to keep the black parts, but I think you do because that's what's going to do the effect of 3D, at least a whole. Oops. Okay. Your girl is just singing that. I love doing puzzles. Do you guys do puzzles still? I mean, when I was younger, I used to do so many. And now when I do the painting, I'm really curious if once I put the 3D glasses on, if it's gonna do the effect. But even if it doesn't, honestly, I had so much fun doing it. If you like these activities, it's so relaxing. And for me, it was kind of a reminder of a childhood, you know? It was so sweet to just do the puzzle. And the puzzle, was it the most difficult I've ever done? Hard to say, possibly, but on the other hand, yeah, it was black and white, that was challenging. The flowers look, most of them, very, very similar. But on the other hand, you could always tell if you're putting the, you know, the, the piece at the wrong, right spot, because the pattern is really profound. While on some of my other puzzles where there's, for example, half of the painting is blue sky or just black background, you can't really tell if those two puzzle pieces are meant to be like you put them.
So I've painted one flower to see if the, if the colors pop out when I use the 3D glasses. And they really do. If you look at it, you can see like, especially the purple ones, get out of the picture. So it's it's really, really strange feeling. Unfortunately, you know, for the camera, I don't think you can actually see how it turns into 3D. Now, nah, for the camera, it's the same thing. If you want to see it yourself, get one of these paintings and do it to see the magic. So, final thoughts about this painting. I'm not sure if it's really made for acrylic paints because they have they keep the certain structure on top of the paint, but I'm, I'm kind of liking it with the flowering motif because like the flowers always have the waning and everything like that. So, so it's kind of, kind of cool, but you have to count. Good thing is that like, since the surface is waxed, when you mess up, you can always get rid of the first layer of the paint just rubbing it off with a piece of damn cloth until it dries once it's dried it stays there forever it's also funny how to paint over the jigsaw pieces so i don't know if i should go like in the holes or not in the holes at all so that's something to consider. Sometimes you're not sure if it's a line that you should follow or just the piece of jigsaw. But overall it's really cool that you have like the whole liberty to, to color it however you want. Although I think like mine is quite psychedelic, you know, it looks really crazy. I used as many colors as I could and maybe I went a little bit overboard. So if there are any psychologists, you can probably create my profile based on how crazy the painting is. But I really had fun doing it, like I can't say I didn't. So this is the final painting. This is how it looks when it's all colored. I intentionally left a few pieces white so that it pops out. I'm so sorry that you can't see it through the 3D glasses because really once it's all painted up, the colors kind of pop out from it and it's really interesting. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it an artistic thumb up and why don't you subscribe to my channel? I'm doing painting by numbers and lots of arts and craft projects as well as traveling and fashion. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of the day and bye! My friend worked so hard on this and I'm gonna show her how much I appreciate the work of art, her work of art. It's really amazing. <laughs>